Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This will be the last episode of the last video of today. Um, sorry for all the late stuff. I was supposed to be done a lot earlier, but things came up, so I wasn't able to get it done right away. Apologize. However, um, we're going to talk about on how exactly Americans are flooding uh, Mexico and uh, how they're not really liking it. So let's get right to it. Californians and other Americans are flooding Mexico City. Some locals want them to go home. And, you know, it's kind of... Uh, Funny because anything that Californians usually touch usually goes to goes to hell anyways because their policies are all dumb and bad and honestly quite terrible and they ruin whatever they touch. I am an um, I am a Californian unfortunately and um, I want to be either a Texan or a Floridian because I have no desire to be in this godforsaken God shithole state that I currently live in because it's honestly quite terrible. Um, the state is awful, does not have anything to do with my values, and on how corrupt and messed up this state is, I refuse to see it have to be with this for very much longer, um, because just of how bad it is. But this is uh, what's happening to Mexico City. We won't go through the whole article, because this article is quite long, but I will probably, but I will have some other stuff to go through as well, because that's another reason why I don't want to go through the full article with you guys. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a quite long one. Oh, okay. Fernando Busta Grospe. So, I will apologize ahead of time. Um, Mexicans, I will apologize because I am not good at the language or any other foreign language. Hell, I am barely good at my own language. So, I will mess up names. I'll try to pronounce the one that I, maybe not the last name, but the first name, and I'll try to pronounce it the best that I can because uh, I am not great at it. But I apologize ahead of time. Was sitting with friends in a cafe here when he realized that once again they were outnumbered. We are the only brown people, said Bust Bustos, a 30 year old writer and university professor. We're the only people speaking Spanish except the waiters. Mexico has been on the top foreign travel of destinations for Americans. Its bountiful beaches and picturesque pueblos luring uh, tens of, mi of millions of US, U.S. visitors annually. But in recent years, a growing number of tourists and remote workers hailing from Brooklyn, uh, oh, ooh, and New York, Silicon Valley, and points in between have flooded the nation's capital and left a set of new wave imperialism. You know what? I will, I will say this to you, Mexicans. Um, I apologize. I sincerely apologize for all the New Yorkers and Californians going to your country. I I absolutely apologize. This is um I, I do not wish this upon you. Um, if you want to vacate them, please. Um, if you're gonna vacate them, please do not push them back to the states. Please don't do that. Make them go to Canada or make them go to um, uh, the Europe or any other place besides here, all right? I don't care what you do with them. If you need to uh, eat them off the face of the earth, well, please go ahead and eat them. That's all right. Um, if you want to uh, put them into another country that's not ours, please go ahead and do so. You have free reign. Just please just do not send them back to our country. Please, for the love of God, keep them there. Thanks. Sincerely, GM Reports. All right, let's continue. Uh, the influx, which has accelerated since the last, the, since the onset of COVID-19 pandemic, and is likely to continue on an inf inflation rise, is transforming some of the city's most treasured neighborhoods and expat enclaves. In leafy, uh, walkable quarters such as Roma, Condesa, Centro, and Grez, again, apologize, uh, rents are soaring as Americans and other foreigners snap up houses and landlords shred long-term renters for travelers willing to pay more than ARMB. Taqueries, corner stores, and fun does. A small family-run launch spots are being replaced by uh, Palita Studios, uh, co-working uh, spaces, and sleek cafes advertising oat milk lattes and avocado toast. And English. Well, it's everywhere. Ring out at supermarkets, natural wine bars, and fitness classes in the park. A large uh, Mediterranean restaurant where on any given night, three quarters of the tables are filled with foreigners, a Mexican man in a well the cut suit recently took a seat at the bar, gazed at the English language menu before him, and sighed as he handed it back a menu sp in Spanish, please. Some ch uh, chilangos, as locals are known, at, are, are fed up. Recently, exploded laced uh, posters appeared around town. New to the city, working remotely, they read in English. You're, you're, well, you're a fucking plague, and the locals fucking hate you. Leave. <laughs> right on! Yeah, no, they, they, exactly. Yeah, pl please go ahead and um, leave. Um, oh, by the way, um, I, I do know one thing. There is a difference here that I uh, I accept. 
You know, normally when I get, you know, the legal Mexicans that come here, the legal Mexicans that work hard to get to our country and wanting to work and better themselves, you know what? I welcome them. I welcome them better than the New Yorkers and the Californians. You know why? Because at least they come to America, try to assimilate to our American culture, and also they have their own culture and their own type of stuff that they want to do, which is completely fine, and try to raise, to be, to become better for their family and stuff like that. These people, I enjoy. I actually enjoy the legal Mexicans that come into our country because they actually want to better themselves. Whereas these Californians and New Yorkers, not so much. They kind of want to ruin everything. Everything that they touch just goes to shit. So yeah, yeah, uh, Mexican Mexicans that you want to come, that you actually want to come here, um, and better yourselves and um, reap the benefits of this great, amazing country that we so fit. Uh, please, by all means, do so. Because we are an immigration country. This is what we are for, known for. So don't feel bad for trying to immigrate to here and, you know, um, illegally set foot here and stuff like that and help your family a lot. I, I have no problem in doing that with you guys doing that. Please, you are welcome. Come here legally, please. Legally, but you're welcome here. And by all means, if you want to, please push them out. Not to our, not to our, not to our state. Not to other country, but to other countries, or you know, put them in the ditch if you know what I mean. Uh, that sentiment echoed the hundreds of responses that poured in after a young American posted the seemingly in innocuous tweet: "Do yourself a favor and remote and remote work in Mexico City. It is truly magical. Please don't." Read one of the kind of replies. This city is becoming more and more expensive every day, in part because of people like you, and you and you don't even realize or care about it. Yeah, exactly, because that's all these people do is that they make things worse for everyone involved. They do not make things better for people at all, period. I may believe even places like in Italy where Americans are fleeing to, they're making things more expensive and worse for everyone involved that is currently living there. So, yeah, um, quite honestly, stop doing it. So, that is currently what's happening here. Now, we'll go to this that says, Letters to the Editor of Mexican Versions of Stephen Kurt Miller on the Backlash Against Expats in Mexico. To the Editor, Several years ago, when I realized how dangerously divided our country had become, I thought about why, and I read a lot on the subject. It didn't take too long to conclude that Americans had started to their fellow citizens as the, as the other. Oh, by the way, this is a continuation to, from this article right here. So this article right here, this is a continuation... The, uh, th this article right here, this is a continuation to it. So, just to clarify. Uh, we are educated and successful. They are deplorables. We are taxpayers. They find ways not to, pay, not to pay. We work hard for what we have. They work the system. We came as immigrants and contributed to this country. They go to another country and exploit it. That means they're not wrong! Please, people. Please. People are people. And we, have, and we are more alike than different. We can all improve the situation we're in by moving toward us. To the editor, the Times report on America's look relocating to Mexico City riled up a storm on Twitter as people with right-wing sensibilities proclaimed gotcha. Others decry that what they saw as gentrification and displacement. Carmenes Gustavo Arellano, I think I did that right, right, right? You know, put a thumbs up in the comments if I did that right. Uh, provided his, uh, his own perspective, siding with those who ex express concerns about cultural mes change in Mexico that is brought about by ugly Americans. I'm here to offer a third perspective. The universal human impulse of nativism is bad. I'm a proud Mexican American who does not shy away from speaking Spanish. I should be free to be, be my authentic self as long as I'm not hurting others. Exactly. I think... You know, I'll also say this to you guys uh, as well because um, I also come into conclusion as a young kid. I would always say Mexicans, they should stop speaking Spanish and just speak English. And coming from an ignorant child, such as myself back then, I have grown up and obviously matured, and I have realized one thing. My stance still says that they should speak English. However, let me, let me clarify. They should speak English into English-speaking places because we all, that's the majority of the language here in America, and you need to speak English in order for us to communicate with you. I shouldn't be forced to have to learn um, your language that you come into my country and um, be forced to have to speak your language. That shouldn't be the case. Um, you should be forced to learn to our language because you're trying to adapt to our culture and what's into our states. However, that does not mean I would forbid you from speaking your language uh, 
in your family or whatever to your friends or whatever or communicating even if you're communicating the store with your family or friends or whatever and you're communicating to them in your own native tongue and stuff like that that's completely fine and i have no problem with that um by the way uh you can speak it to your own native tongue and stuff like that your own cultural self and all that that's completely fine um i don't really have an issue with it it's like when you come to talk to people and you're and you don't understand our language or whatever that's kind of more of the issue that i have with it because it, it, you're trying to force us to learn a language that we just we don't know and we shouldn't have to adapt to you should adapt to our language and to our culture and stuff like that um but i'm not saying you should revoke your culture at all or your language you should have the right to be able to express yourselves and your uh yourself and your authentic self with like as you as this man said here um not hurting others which is completely fine and i have no problem with this whatsoever. It is a country's prerogative to crash its own immigration laws. However, we should try to avoid to sound much like Mexican versions of Stephen, Stephen Miller. Uh, to the editor, uh, recently 30 young Mexican volunteers paint, painted fanciful designs on the power poles along the main street of Mexican Village where I live. The young people told of a lesson for us experts. Mexicans not only chafe at higher cost of living, but also folks from Knob, North of the American border, uh, uh, who become who come because it's cheap? Set up shop, demand people speak English, stay in their little knob groups, and ignore the fact that they are in one of the most magical cities and one of the most magical countries in the world. See, this is a problem. A lot of uh, Californians and New Yorkers are extremely entitled people. I hate them personally, and they should not force their uh, demand people to speak English. Listen. This is going directly to you New Yorkers and you stupid Californians. You do, you do not have the right to move to somebody else's country and to demand them to speak your language. No. You go to their country and you learn their language. The same thing where I want to visit Japan and visit all the stuff. I would consider it rude for me not to at least be able to speak Japanese somewhat decently when I go to their country because I have to respect their country and their policies and their culture. It's completely different. It's showing respect to that culture and to those people that you go to. You do not demand people to speak your language. At all. Period. That is not okay. And that's what I really hate about entitled people. You are not entitled to so many things and you not do not, you do not demand people to speak English or your own language. Period. At all. Completely asinine. Perhaps if they saw and talked with those kids, they would understand that Mexico is magic not because it is cheap, but because of its people. Yeah. And I think every country would be like that, honestly. I advise people moving to Mexico to bring four things. Patience, flexibility, generosity, and a sense of humor. 100% agree. Uh, uh, this country relies on relationships. Sequestering yourself to a computer screen and your knob friends does not build relationships. Uh, what I was really at that, and this is also Mexico's culture, by the way. You adapt to their culture, guys. You do not just not adapt. Adapt to your culture. Talking even in broken Spanish will earn you a smile. Give uh, a give five pesos to the old woman begging by the store. Tell her your name and ask her, and ask her for her for hers. Smile at the kid who wants to wash your car and maybe say see. Sí. And if you see a group of five school students painting telephone poles, tell them muy buen. Well, I. I might have pronounced that horribly. I apologize again. They are probably your neighbors, and then they will be your friends. Yeah, I, I again, I 100% agree with everybody. It was just sentiment. Um, uh, I have no problem whatsoever with them having to do that. Again, as I said, you adapt to that country's culture. Now, I understand if you're not staying there, maybe not to adapt too much because you're not actually truly staying there. You're probably just visiting. But you have to at least learn a little bit of the language, guys. Come on. You have to show some kind of respect here. Um, and if you don't show respect, you're just, honestly, you're just a rude, entitled person, in my personal opinion. Um, and that's one thing um, that, you would, that I would expect anybody that's coming to any country would do is learn the language and adapt to their culture. If you're moving there, move there because you want to move there and adapt to their culture. And understand it but don't don't force people to do things not okay all right guys that's it for the video like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next one take care